this week on the Anime Alchemist podcast. We'll see, but I'm excited because we have both read this, and mm-hmm. this is going to be like a very, very good section of the story. You ever think about how Dragon Ball is just the uh, Star Wars of anime? In that um, conversation with with the man god, I think he tells him to go in the basement. Go into the basement? Yeah. What do you mean? Like, man god tells... <laughs> Welcome back to the Anime Alchemist Podcast. My name is Emery. My name is Martin. We stopped counting what number it is. I just this is know. episode 767. What the fuck? I counted. It's 140, actually. No, it is. <laughs> oh, we do technically have to keep track for YouTube, I guess, right? Mm-hmm. We're just never going to remember here. But, but welcome back. Yeah. It's nice to be here again. Appreciate you guys for listening or watching, whether it's on uh, Spotify, maybe you guys are watching us over on YouTube checking us out on apple podcast if you didn't know more just get lost into my eyes code spoiler warning can get you 10 percent off on your t-fuel no way if you didn't know that yeah that's amazing they got so many different anime ten, flavors 10 percent. 10 percent. they got a kaiju number eight one a kaiju number eight mm-hmm. will it turn me into a kaiju no but i think it'll bring up your percentage whenever you're wearing a suit mm, mm-hmm. that's a good deal i'd hop on that honestly they actually came with a pretty cool shaker too really mm-hmm. the shakers are actually really cool mm-hmm. i will say that the one that i have um from the last time that we tried like the flavors out mm-hmm. i use it every time i go to the gym it's amazing g fuel what the fuck we need another care package <laughs> we miss you <laughs> we miss you but yeah make sure to use that code we, we genuinely love g fuel so um if you guys don't know spoiler warning just because the shit we talk about probably might ruin your day if you're not caught up to some animes <clears throat> i mean it's the truth it, it is the truth at this point the entire brand for the anime alchemist is spoiler, spoiler warning. Yeah. we try to be good about it we'll try to make sure to like if we're about to drop a big one, we'll be like, hey, spoiler for this, but just so you're aware. Um, make sure you guys like, subscribe, turn your notifications on, and let's talk about some anime. What kind of anime are we talking about today? Um, well, to start, um, we're probably a little behind on this, but um, I thought it would be fun to get our reaction to the official teaser trailer for the solo leveling season two is it really season two though i thought it was just core two it's technically labeled as season two but it's essentially a it's second totally core, core. okay yeah, yeah but i think marketing wise they just have said season two basically they seem to do that a lot with like the web series mm-hmm. so we'll see but i'm excited because we have both read this and mm-hmm. this is going to be like a very very good section of the story oh my god yes yeah just completely <laughs> yep okay, okay it's fair <laughs> I, I we got the season two trailer way faster than i thought we were going to yeah i'm hoping that it shows more than just like a tease okay yeah. so okay, yeah that automatically i love the way they fucking <laughs> animate his eyes like that glow because it's so iconic to the fucking manga they do a good job with that is that the red gate yes this is the red gate arc okay yeah. Oof. Where we go into like the winter place or whatever. I feel like that was a pretty quick read. It was, yeah, but it was very important. Yeah. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. Army, yeah. Oh, this is gonna be nice. Oh my god, yeah, we get to see ears in action. Yeah. Yo. Oh, pause it. Oh, that's oh, the fucking Ice King, dude. Yes. I can't. Oh my god. We okay. Oh, he looks good. He does. Yeah. I remember, and I swear, I, I hope the person who voice acts this mm-hmm. i said this man when i was reading this there was a voice actor that i was just like yes yeah it's the voice that would like play in my head while i was like you know while i was like reading it yeah who um the guy who does caesar and frieza and oh. um, uh, what's his name from uh uh bleach yeah i just it, it, like oh uh, my yeah like yeah. just like that like kind of high pitch i could see it yeah he has like that hoity-toity type of fucking attitude yeah, yeah yeah like he thinks he's better than everyone better than the humans at the very least I, like i'm not gonna lie i'm really excited because like i remember reading that and that mm-hmm. just being my thought that could be really cool it, are you speaking like specifically for the japanese yes the yes for okay. the japanese i think it would work better in the japanese and the english maybe not so much, maybe not so yeah. much yeah. like i don't want to hear freeze no but yeah oh fuck yeah animation oh. is that no that was a giant ogre can you go back that's, that's... back at the tower right the oh shit! It oh is. he goes back yeah 
His first attempt at the levels. He goes three times, I believe, right? I, I think so. Yes, because yes. then I think that means we're going to get, what's her name? Uh, the little, uh, the demon girl? Uh, yeah, or is she on the third visit? I don't remember if it was the second or third one. Also, why is everyone so obsessed with her? She provided, like, nothing to the story. Because, like, she, like, like Sam is obsessed with her for some reason. Sam, if you're hearing this, I'm calling you out. She's fucking useless, but, you know. I don't know why everyone likes her, because I don't remember anything important that she did. She was just really clutch for that whole, like, tower situation. Yeah. And, like, think about it. The, what the tower provided was kind of essential to Sun Jing Wu's No, the tower life. itself is, yeah, definitely really important. I guess it was just such a long time ago and such a quick read that I don't remember yeah. her providing anything really monumental. But I guess, you know, as a side character, sure, I enjoyed her. Every time he goes to this tower, is he technically east kying himself? Don't start. It's <laughs> way too early, man. I'm not having that conversation with you. So he's going to finally go into this tower at least and probably start progressing. Like the actual levels, yes. But is the second time that he goes, is that when he gets pulled out early because of the shit that's going on elsewhere? I think Like on the Jeju Islands? So. No. Or is that after the third? That's after the third. Because remember, I'm pretty sure it's on his third visit. That's when he gets the wyvern. Does he get the wyvern before he gets I'm not... B Biru? Yes. Really? Yes. Hold That's... on, let's keep watching this. Yeah, sorry. No, no, no. Because the tower stuff is some of my favorite shit. Besides the red gate. Bro. Oh, oh, wait. oh that's iron! Oh, that's fucking iron! We're getting to the iron! Where are you going to go? Damn it. Go ahead. Uh, they're right there. Or Hold a little on, bit man. more. Yeah! So Shit. yeah, that, that's a big spoiler, but like, yeah, that's the one that he, he turns that A rank um, yeah. into a fucking shadow. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. I, I forget, like the army grows so quick and so badass. Yes, yeah. Ah, oh, fuck. Egress, Egress. Being, doing Egress things. Still looks cold as fuck. Mm -hmm. The army. Oh, pause it, pause it, pause it. Go back. And pause. Right, a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. We get to see a good amount of them. So we have Egress, obviously, right mm -hmm. there. So by the end of it, we'll get Iron, and then we get Tank, the polar bear. Mm -hmm. I remember those two for sure, and then the rest of them are just kind of like... See, and I think... Oh, it, and you see some polar bears in the back, too, yeah. right there. I think this is him in the tower. Yeah, definitely. So he pulls up with an army ready to go. Yeah. I love the way they look. Like, I, I think so it, it, it works perfectly for an anime. I'm I'm excited because I feel like that was just enough of a tease that we know some of the things that we're gonna see, but mm -hmm. I think there's I think that there's no way they're just doing those two arcs. No, no way. it's definitely gonna go past that. Mm -hmm. So this is my theory. In the trailer that we got for season one, we really didn't see much outside of the first couple episodes, mm -hmm. and then a flash of him like already kind of like leveled up like taller yeah. buffer and everything we never saw anything egress related we never saw anything with the the purple haired fuck that he fought right yeah none of that was shown in the trailer all of that was just later on mm -hmm. and we got elements of that in the opening mm -hmm. this one if they're just showing that in the trailer this makes me think we're probably going to get another 12 ish 11 mm -hmm. to 12 episodes for this season just like we did season one the red gate arc two I, episodes max two three tops mm -hmm. like definitely two but like three i could see it kind of ending because there's also that shit outside of the gate outside of the gate like, yeah what's his, what's his name's brother yeah mm -hmm. so i'm thinking three and then if he's immediately going to the tower after that that's still another nine episodes it's not gonna take nine episodes to go through all that so what is next is that jeju island no um i don't remember after that is it the no it's not the orcs is it <laughs> God bless, you. Mm, bless you oh remember the uh, gate that opened yeah the orcs and it started to leak through yeah because he fights like the tusk he gets the yeah tusk. tusk. yeah does he have tusk before biru i'm pretty sure because he's the one that can kind of do magic right yes yeah that's like one of his first like mage type mm -hmm. shadows <laughs> spoiler 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 oh uh, yeah <laughs> if you you know what that's fucking cool though like i can't believe that we're getting this far already in such a short amount of time mm -hmm. hey babe has she been reading yeah i was about to say do you remember what happens after like the the when he goes to the tower for the second time damn mm -hmm. okay no you know what that's okay i think 
I'll, be a I'd nice rather little, be surprised. Yeah, nice little surprise. Like when it happens, it's just like, yeah. oh shit, that's yeah. Right. I don't want to know everything. I just like want to have a slight roadmap. Mm -hmm. So I'm hyped, man. I'm so glad that this anime is getting the you know respect it deserves. It. And this is going to be really good. If they nail this one as good as they did season one, then this anime could very easily win a lot of awards for the next uh, award season mm -hmm, for Crunchyroll mm -hmm. or whatever. Not that it matters, I guess, but... I mean, we'll yeah. definitely be putting it in our Tony Awards. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, I'm already... I've been keeping, like, a mental list of some things that I want. Like, for example, I already know three openings that I want for, like, you know, <laughs> the opening of the year. Yeah, which Mash, ones? MASH being one of them. Mm -hmm. And honestly, MASH should win. I doubt there's going to be anything that will rival I'll that. I'll fight anybody else. Like, there's nothing that could compare. That wouldn't... Like, it's everywhere. It was mm -hmm. everywhere. It was a fucking TikTok audio for months. It still is. It's her ringtone. It's so good, bro. My friends who don't even watch anime have heard it and be like, yo, this is like really good. And I'm like, I fucking know. It's a fucking pop. Like, yeah. you can't, I'm sorry. You can just get Kaiju though. I would say, yeah, Kaiju is my second choice for opening if it's not going to get nominated. And mm, I'm torn between either like the One Piece one or the, um, fuck, what is it? Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Freeman? No, I like the first opening for Free Run better than the second one. Mm. Oh, there was another one. I can't think of it off the top of my head. Kaiju. No, Kaiju should win ending. <laughs> oh, yeah. That one had the best ending I've heard mm -hmm. this year so far. This is a fucking One Republic. How can you beat that? <laughs> I think. Oh, yeah, that's a. Mm. Yeah, right. I don't think we've ever done it. Best ending, but we'll have to. We could include that. Mm hmm. Because, I mean, even One Piece started doing their endings again, so... That's true. Mm -hmm. uh, man, we, we should have done it last year because it would have won. Mm -hmm. The Wano one was so good. So fucking good. I, I can't remember the other one I'm thinking of, but... Yeah, I'm kind of keeping, like, a mental list of some things that I want to nominate. And and w I want to try to do it, like, earlier this time around mm -hmm. so we can have enough time for more people to cast their votes and stuff like that. Fair. You know? Like, I always have fun with the Tony Awards. It may be early, but if you guys can start thinking up uh, some ideas for our Tony Awards, let us know in the comments. Yeah. Um, I know we're again late on this news, but it's fun to talk about, especially for you and me, because we have no fucking idea what's about to happen. Mm -hmm. Um, Bleach Thousand Year Blood War Arc Part Three just got confirmed for October this year. Um, I'm I'm so fucking excited. I am excitement. I can't like the one thing I love going back. <clears throat> I'll go back and I'll rewatch um Renji when he uh. When he gets his like actual bankai, yeah, that was such a good. One. I watched that. I watched Rukia on her bankai. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. so good. And then I love watching what's his name, just absolutely disrespect you walk for that fat fucking minute. Oh, the the painter dude. Yep. Um, uh, that's one thing. So I love Bleach, but I cannot keep track of all the new characters. Oh yeah, names. No, 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 no. I don't know any of them. Especially that guy has two names technically yeah and like <clears throat> sorry i'm not gonna keep track of it mm -hmm. the only one that i kind of sort of slightly maybe remember is the the lady um the one that had like that reality warping yes. fucking the that most broken so power i've ever seen in that show mm -hmm. uh senjo maru i think is her mm -hmm. name yeah you know what's crazy what um what's his name uh from like the actual captains uh got the eye patch i think he's like number one. one yeah you know like his bankai we haven't seen it no but it's even more fucking terrifying so that's one thing that like throws me off about this show man is like it starts getting so conceptually like insane that you're like this was about swords <laughs> this was about like swordsmen and now, that kind of style of fighting what happened now hear me out uh -huh. you've read magi I have. <laughs> but that one was different. That one set itself up for that. I mean, they're doing their own, like, they're setting themselves up for it. It all makes sense. I wouldn't say they're setting themselves up for that. They went for Well, I mean, they have been. Like, think about it. how long have they been talking about, like, the, um, the Soul King and, like... Okay, they've mentioned it, but in terms of, like, scaling and power, that's what, like, just, I feel, jumped so far. Like, it, remember the Soul Society arc, right? Like, mm -hmm. whenever we went to go get Rukia, mm -hmm. the craziest thing we had seen at that moment was, um, what's his, I cannot remember anyone's names, I'm sorry. Um, the Rose Petal guy, Rukia's brother. Oh, the, um, 
Where's Gary when you need him? I know, right? He knows that Bankai yeah. too. Yeah, that one. Oh, dang, that's a long Bankai too. He remembers mm -hmm. the name of it. Impressive. No, but that one. That oh, one was like the, Sonbon Sakurai. That yeah, that one. Like that was crazy. That was insane conceptually because you're like every rose petal was like essentially a slash or a sword mm -hmm. or whatever. Now that doesn't look like shit compared to the stuff that we've seen now. We literally are, you know, warping reality mm -hmm. with a Bankai. And it's just, it's kind of weird to think about because the Bankai was essentially, like, it was supposed to be the manifestation of, like, your sword and, like, you know, its true form or whatever. And now it just doesn't really feel like swords are even I, a, a part of it anymore. I don't know. Again, I feel like they gradually have been just, like, yeah. think about it. How early did they introduce um, uh, Aizen's Bankai? And his was crazy. One, we haven't seen his Bankai. Well, okay. They introduced his, his Zan Pakto. Yes. Yeah. His Zan Pakto alone was kind of crazy. Yeah, but that one made a little bit of sense because it was more mind control-esque and it was like the deception. Mm -hmm. like, and that one I, I totally got because they, they spent the time to like kind of talk about it a little bit. Mm -hmm. And he like he was a master manipulator. So okay. that, that makes sense to me. It, the hard part for me, and I'm not saying it's bad, I like, don't misinterpret, I'm just saying it's confusing for me, is introducing these new characters, this new group of like Squad Zero, who are leagues above anyone that we've seen before, right? Like we just watched the captain of, uh, of one technically captain yamamoto and he was like the most terrifying person like in like that was insane mm -hmm. that that i thought at the time was and like he the gets pinnacle. dwarfed yes by a clone by a fucking <laughs> clone bro what the fuck that's disrespectful i didn't like that it's i don't know it's just i don't know how i would write it but it didn't have to be a clone <laughs> i mean it just like, diminishes everything he did i mean he was doing that while he was fighting when he busted out that like the his uh, unpack dough for the for the, the east and he rose the, all those dead like at that point yeah hypocrite. it's like you've are you yeah you're a hypocrite and at that point like your hypocrisy is so great that you didn't even beat the fucking enemy yeah i mean no but in terms of writing makes sense that he would mm -hmm. lose i just hate like the clone thing where it's just like wow so like that clone is as strong as you Habak or whatever like it was as strong as it need. It was as strong as Yuhabak was. So, like, why not just have another version of him all the time? Because then you'd have two. Because remember, he's only has like A B. Like it's alphabetical. Is it? There's, Is yeah. Oh God, it's been a while. Remember, it's... there's a there's a um a uh a Quincy for like the alphabet. They're all alphabetic. Like, oh, are they? You have not caught on to that? No, are... I heard that they're like German though. Okay, like German. I, I, yeah, they do. Yeah, but no, each each one like, like Nazis kind of a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> hmm. bleach Nazis, anime Nazis. No, continue. <laughs> Don't start down that. <laughs> but no, I, I I can't believe you hadn't caught on to that. Like their letter mm -hmm. is like their uh, like Quincy ability. Um, really? You dude, are you serious? <laughs> no, really? Yeah, that's why it was. He was literally C for clone. Oh, and like the higher up in the. Wait, what about Bambi? What did she do? I, I fucking I can't remember off the top of my head. She got like she didn't even get it off was screen. E she just got murked. Yeah. What about the other ones? Candy. I'm thinking of like the Bambiettes or like the group of mm -hmm. them. I don't remember a lot of names. Um, what about the wrestler dude? His, I, I think he was like M for like muscle or something like that. Oh, really? I'm pretty sure, bro. I'm going to go back and check that out. I had no idea that that was like what they were doing. I promise you. Uh huh. Do you think the like I missed that because I'm watching it like sub? Do you think if I watched it dubbed, I would have caught on to that maybe a little bit better? No, no. Well, maybe. I caught on to it watching yeah. it subbed. Yeah. Maybe I'm just dumb. I don't know. Watch, bro. Uh, watch the ones that Kampachi fought. Okay. Because like um he he fought that one that was like i think or he he fought one i think it was like m for like mimic mm. and he became kampachi mm. okay i mean yeah i'm gonna need to go back and it's just been so like think, separated that like it's hard like core one and then we wait like six months and then we get a second core and then we wait like nine months and it's like core three the, okay you remember the one he fought that um I, he was like i kampachi fought the guy that uh, it was like i for imagination yeah oh oh that makes sense everything his imagination that's funny yeah oh cool good for you uh kubo <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean good job like he he has like they i mean they all have their tropes i get it no i'm not yeah that like makes even sense. look at the um <laughs> i just had no fucking clue like look at the um the uh god the um i can't remember them right after soul society the 
clue what another one is. The run cars? Yeah. The oh, well, those are they different. Yeah, those are all numbers. I'm not yeah. that dumb. <laughs> well, and they, I mean, like, it, it, they have those hidden shit in anime. Think about what Oda does. No, that's what I do love about the way Kubo writes, like, his, his enemies or his factions and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, you have the Soul Society and all of them. Then you have the Oran car, and they're all, like, Spanish-themed and shit, mm-hmm. right? Now you have all the Quincy's, and they're, like, German. And, like, I don't know. I think it's fucking cool. Like, it just... It, it's kind of world building, but like taking elements from our world and incorporating it into like a fantasy world. Are what they saying German? I feel like it sometimes. Like Their the words, names are definitely German. Like the words they say to like use their like crazy like Quincy shit. I wouldn't know if there's any like if any of y'all are German, please I enlighten fans. us. If we, if we're completely off, we apologize. We are not smart. <laughs> we just watch anime. For sure. I'm a, I got a cousin. I might call them. You have a German cousin? Yes, I do nice yeah i have a friend who speaks german but he doesn't watch anime he should though he'd like this one funny enough and like they're also my cousin bleach fan fucking ask him <laughs> i didn't think about it i'm sorry if i had a fucking cousin that spoke german and watched bleach i'd be asking them hey what does that mean hey what does that mean i never put it together until you said it it's okay i didn't see the letters so <laughs> we're not the most observant this is why we get along um but i'm excited for the third core for sure is is this confirmed to be the final one or do we get a, a fourth Part. I don't fucking know. I've accepted that this is just an ongoing. This is the Attack on Titan yeah. of like the big three. Yeah, the big three. <laughs> That's fine with me. And the Naruto, like, cu- or not community really. Um, universe is like the Fast and the Furious. Oh God! It's just a gift that nothing will get you to stop giving. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good mm-hmm. comparison. It just won't stop. I Although I wish we got more like OG stuff. Like, weren't they supposed to do an anime remake or something? Like for for oh, the original yeah, series, yeah, whatever happened to, be, to like, that? They're supposed to be like a, a Minato series. No, I'm not even talking about that. Remember how we got that trailer for like the re? Oh no, that no, was, no, that that wasn't that. No, that was just they just did that for like a. No, but they did say that we were supposed to be getting a reanimated. Um, I think continuation of of the OG Naruto, right? Like. Yeah, that was planned, and then they just they dropped it and or not completely canceled it, but they just pushed it to an undecided like date. Hmm. And here we are, just waiting. You ever think about how Dragon Ball is just the uh, Star Wars of anime? Okay, you got the OG shit that everybody loves. Mm-hmm. Okay, then you got the new stuff that introduced a whole new generation, but the people who watch the OG shit are kind of like, man, you guys suck. Okay, right? Are you talking about like Dragon Ball Z being the OG or the Dragon no, no, no. Ball? No, Dragon Ball's the OG shit. And Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z is the one that brought in the whole new generation, like the the prequels. One, the prequels did. You're, for taking, us. You're, you're comparing Dragon Ball Z to the prequels. Keep up, keep up, keep up with your okay? All right, fine. And by the end of Dragon Ball Z, it was perfect. Everything we had was perfect. Yeah. Ain't nobody asked for fucking Super, and ain't nobody asked for that shit with Ray. I was gonna say GT. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I was like, I was fully waiting for it. Because you wouldn't be wrong, really. Nobody asked for that either. But no, you're right. Nobody fucking asked for Super. You know, you know, like the Han Solo movie, and then uh, what was the Rebels? Um, yeah, all that. I heard the Han Solo movie was good though. That's GT. Okay, respected, but like, not everyone's cup of tea. Yeah. Where? What about Rogue One? Oh, the, I like same one. Rogue One is like a masterpiece in my opinion. In terms and, of like yeah, non like Star people. Wars movies. Bro, I don't think I've met anyone that's seen it and not liked it. You didn't like Rogue One? You're fucking kidding me. No huh? way. What didn't you like about it? It's boring. I, I don't even want to start asking you why you don't like it because I get mad. But why, I, like, I thought you I, would like it. Okay. The real the reason I love Star Wars, man, it's not for the politics. It's for the lightsabers. It's for the lore, bro. This is literally setting up episode four. <sighs> the fucking everybody should care it's super cool that we got like a backstory of how that plan even came into action what do you care about no i care like that stuff yeah yeah man that's why i do like honest to god you know what i fucking love mandalorian even the most recent season because they're becoming in more in touch with like their like ancestral fucking ways yeah like the fact that like did you ever watch the the last season no i only watched the first two seasons okay in the most recent season um 
Kinjaro and Bo Katan go to Mandalore. Mm -hmm. They go deep into the fucking mines and they bathe in the waters. Mm -hmm. Okay, but like in that situation, like uh, um, Kinjaro stepped in while he was in his Vascar armor, so he just <laughs> sunk. Mm -hmm. Bo Katan had to go in, fucking save him. While she was in there, she saw the Mythosaur. What is that? That is a giant fucking beast that the original, like, like, like the original Mandalorian, like the one, the fable that like created the dark saber and everything. Mm. He was like the one that rode that. Okay. Like it's a, it's a, for Mandalorians, that is like the pinnacle of their mythology. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like witnessing that and seeing like that beast alive, mm -hmm. bring like pre-writes like prophecy for them. I mean that's really cool. Kinjaro's like quite literally like walking up to being like the like uh, like a Mandalorian of prophecy. He wheel he technically wielded the dark saber. He had a Vascar um, spear. He wears complete Vascar armor. And I just uh, I'm sorry I'm just still kind of like I just love lore. I get it, but like Rogue One is also kind of lore for the main like, series. It feels like well, okay for the main series, but not for the is that not what we not love for, like the religion. You, so that That's specific faction is what you like is just like the religion not, aspect not of really Star like Wars? the re <sighs> the jedi history and what they are and stand for and like their lightsaber getting and the crystals and the That's fantastic. I am also all for that and I would kill for like a fucking Knights of the Old Republic type of movie or something mm -hmm. like that. I would kill for something like that. To, you know. But Rogue One is such a perfect tie-in into like episode four because i personally think episode four is one of the more boring ones but it's so important but i still think it's boring rogue one made me like episode four more because you literally see the entire setup and all of, like the sacrifices that were needed to even be able to pull off bro if you didn't have that if you didn't pull off that sacrifice you didn't pull off getting the plans to the right people to princess leia and everything you literally wouldn't even have a series you wouldn't have star wars if it wasn't for that it makes everything that happened in four five and six super important because that one action of this team that isn't even really remembered it's so much more like so you're telling me if the actions of that movie never happened, my man Darth Vader could be still ruling the goddamn empire. Yeah, kinda. <laughs> then fuck that movie. Yeah, okay, okay, listen to this. <laughs> let me, let me, uh, were you a Halo fan at all? Who are you talking to? You played Halo, right? Yes. Did you ever play Halo Reach? No. Wait. Please, please, please. I th I'm pretty sure. D Halo Reach, right? This is the one where we get like Noble Six. We oh, get Noble yes, Team. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. So you don't see any similarity between Halo Reach's story and Rogue One's story of a team of a of a team of at this point nobody's because they all died carrying out one final mission to get information or essentially just pass on like for example Rogue or the sorry I'm very heated right now. <laughs> I'm it's trying like, to like it's compel like I hit words. A GT button. It's fucking this great. This is a new one for me. I didn't know I had this. So, Noble Team, mm -hmm. their entire plan was to get Cortana right mm -hmm. from Halsey, mm -hmm. right, and to get Cortana to like the UNSC to get it to Master Chief, which mm -hmm. we see at the very, very fucking end. One by one, they all die trying to achieve that mission, fighting the war and everything, right? Mm -hmm. And it gets passed off like one by one by one by one until we get to Noble Six, who is the last remaining member, and he ends up like accomplishing that mission. Had he not done that, we do not have Master Chief with Cortana and the entire Halo series, mm. right? Yeah. Is that not the same as Rogue One with the team so, trying yeah, to get the plans for the fucking Death Star to the fucking rebel alliance he's i mean he's not wrong he's essentially he's he's yeah like it's the it's the same story mm -hmm. so if you don't like without one it, you don't like it, the you other you don't get me you don't get help me <laughs> obi-wan kenobi you're my only hope yeah and i know that you're not going to relate to it because i'm i don't know if you played halo or anything like that like if that was your thing but if you played it and you enjoyed it you have to be able to see the comparison you your little like you can still look you can still not be a big fan of it but you can't tell me that you don't like that story structure and then you like the one from the video game because Fuck they're you. the same fucking thing 
He's not wrong. I Fuck. know I'm not wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to like. It's the first it's comparison like, that came to mind. Wants you. Fuck. <laughs> I hate that. God, I wish Gary was here. Yeah. Fuck. I and I know for a fact he would back me up on oh, this yeah, too. Like, cause I think he really likes Rogue One too. Mm -hmm. And if he played Halo at all or knows the story of it, then he would agree with me that like the story itself is important for the entirety of the series. Got thrown around and Shut up. You don't, you, oh, and you like fucking Rogue One? I don't. But she has, she like, um, it doesn't well, really matter if she does or doesn't. She it's... has horrible taste as it is. <laughs> I mean, am I wrong? The fucking last three are your favorite. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's absolutely disrespectful. The last three? Yes. The new ones? Yes. Seven, eight, nine? Yes. Are your favorite Star Wars movies? The romance. Literally just the romance. There was romance in episode two. That's on the writing. writing. Yes. That's not, that is not um, Hayden Christensen's fault. No, I love him. I love him. I man, there used to be such like a a large amount of time before the the sequels came out where everyone would kind of shit on Hayden Christensen because mm -hmm. like uh, they didn't like the way he was Anakin. And I'm like, bro, he's a fantastic Anakin Skywalker. He was just handed a horrible fucking script. Mm -hmm. That's why it just took our generation to grow up to fucking be able to go to conventions and be like, we fucking love you. I'm saying, bro, and I'm so 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 happy that he got to redeem himself in the Obi Wan series. Like, I didn't watch mm -hmm. the entire thing, but I like I got to see the scenes with him and everything and mm -hmm. his interaction with Obi-Wan in that final duel, bro, that... You know, he was also in Ahsoka. Years. Yeah, I heard he was in Ahsoka too. Like, good, bro, use him. He was so damn good and he's a good actor. I couldn't think of another person that could have played Anakin Skywalker better than him. A young Anakin Skywalker. The fact that even, like, they have him playing, like, that cross between Anakin and Darth Vader. So like, bro. Bad, bro. Oh, one of my favorite fucking scenes from that was when they were fighting and, like, An their Anakin Darth Vader is had, gone. Like, yeah, Anakin is gone. Or, like, I killed Anakin Skywalker, not you, or something. Mm -hmm. Like, that was, like, the last bit of humanity that he had to try to, like, leave the burden from Obi-Wan because Obi-Wan is probably feeling guilt-ridden as all hell, bro. He's like, this is all my fault. Mm -hmm. I'm responsible for creating Darth Darth Vader. Oh, she has something to say. She grabbed the do mic. You, Martine, do you like Star Wars better than Harry Potter? Mm, that's a really good question. Yeah, like genuine. Like, do you like Star Wars better? The, like just just the movies, right? No, all of it. Okay, that's not really a fair question because I've been exposed to Star Wars a lot longer than I've been no, exposed Star Wars. to Harry Potter. You heard that right here, people. I think I like the movies for Harry Potter more overall than star wars i think there's more star wars than there is harry potter you're just trying to make everyone happy with your response i'm explaining bro. myself and mm. you're not giving me a chance listen i if you're gonna ask me do you want to watch a star wars movie or do you want to watch harry potter i'm gonna say harry potter my man all right i like harry potter that one is fucking there's only one movie out of all of those that i'm not a huge fan of you can guess Two? Yeah, two. <laughs> I've seen two too many times. <laughs> I've, I've seen it so much I'm like tired. It's a, it's a good movie. It's fine. I'm just really fucking sick of seeing it because that was the only one that would play when I was a kid for some reason. So I, I can, I know everything that Harry happens. Harry Potter is literally just Star Wars with crappy lightsabers. Whatever. The queen of bad takes. Mm-hmm. No one no, That's a hot Sam. take. You heard it here. I was about to say, you and Sam should be like BFFs. I know. Every time Sam's here, I love his takes. Like, they're so good. Like, <laughs> literally, we were talking about Jobless the last time he was here. And, like, I was like, exactly, Sam. Thank you. Someone with saneness. Like, what, wait, wait, you, what were y'all talking about Jobless that you agreed? And, and, and Sam what were said, talking I, I don't remember exactly, but me and Sam were talking about it. And, because he uh, is, like, the biggest jobless ring. No, but he was team. telling me a different like point of view from it because like I was like I'm not a huge fan of it, and he was like, no, I I understand probably why you don't. Oh, and then okay. and I was like, okay, thank you, Sam. Like I'm not crazy. I got spoiled on something. Good. <laughs> really? For jobless, yeah. I've been spoiled on a few things. You should say it because Sam really wants to know. He is. Okay. He was begging me to read the light novel on oh, my really? on my trip to Austin, bro. He wanted me to read it so badly and like i'm sorry sam i love you buddy but i just i can't do light novels like i i want to watch something i want to either watch an anime or read a manga with mm -hmm. pictures and I'm, I'm a fucking child but i don't care um i i i don't know if this is true sam please let me know in the comments and potential spoiler warning for jobless yeah, reincarnation yeah um 
I heard that he the next time he has a conversation with the man god, mm-hmm. he asks him, "What would have happened if I hadn't gone?" Really? Mm-hmm. Do we get like a straight up answer? Mm-hmm. Do you know the straight up answer? Mm-hmm. Okay, don't tell me. Dang, really? And is it crazy? Just it's... ask. Well, just tell us. No, I don't want to know. Shut up. Oh, really? It's fucked. How do you love your spoilers, Martin? N- no, I do not. <laughs> you love your spoilers. I I will read the official release, but I will not just go out looking and, for spoilers. Um, but I'm like curious to be like. And in that like about. In that um, conversation with with the man god, I think he tells him to go in the basement. Go into the basement. Yeah, I mean, like man god tells the basement of his house. Yeah, where they found the fucking shit, right? Yeah. Like the the book, dude. Sam said there was like he told me to make sure to pay attention to that. That book had like a the the, the fucking sign or symbol of I think the. Oh, I'm not going to remember exactly what he said. I think it was like the dragon, the dragon god or something like that. But it was like the symbol associated to Orsted. Mm-hmm. It's something Orsted related. Mm-hmm. And it also probably has a, like something to do with why Orsted was like, as soon as he heard about the man god, just on site, like just death. Gotcha. I, uh, I am fully, fully convinced that the man god is the, the villain or like the bad guy. <laughs> I don't trust this motherfucker at all. Um, And from what I heard, okay. He also gets visited. Visited? Yeah. Okay. Like, Rudius gets visited, like... By someone from his world? N- okay. I, I mean, my theory, okay? Okay. I don't know what it is. Okay. I think it's grown-up Rudius. Mm-hmm. Like, finding a way to tell young Rudius, like, if you go in that basement... Roxy dies. What? Mm-hmm. Really? It, just, it looks like like it just looks like an old man Rudius who's just like. And the reason I think it's Rudius, I've heard shit about old man Rudius. And the reason I think it's old man Rudius is because he didn't call him Rudius. He called him by his real name. Oh, really? Nobody in that fucking world knows that name. Oh, no, nobody. Not even what's her name? Wait, so old man. Ru- uh, I'm sorry. This, let me for clarification. Mm-hmm. You're not saying like Orsted is an old man, Rudius, right? Orsted is his own character. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, because okay. that would be fucking crazy. It's right? like it's like he, uh, like like from my understanding, mm-hmm. he has the premonition from Man God, mm-hmm. then would like wake up, and is like, what the fuck? Well, it like wakes up and is immediately like um, presented with like old man Rudius. Ooh, man, maybe I do want to read this fucking late novel. <laughs> and he tells him, like, if you go down there, Roxy dies. We're not getting it until, like, 2026. I hate anime production. <laughs> but it looks good. I hate it. I love this fucking series oh way God. too much. Would you be willing to pick up the late novel? Fuck no, I'm dyslexic, bro. <laughs> oh, there's audiobooks for it. Oh, oh, absolutely. No, he sent me all of them. You oh. can listen to it on a drive. Forward that to me. You're going to do it? Yes, absolutely. Fine. Because Fuck it. No, because I am not about to let you know everything about this damn series and me be in the dark. Uh, no, that's not happening. Sam, if he won't send them to me, I need you to call me whenever you hear this and set it up because, bro, like, I, like you Gary's know gonna what be I do. Pissed. Like, Gary's going to be pissed. I'm sorry. Because like, you know he won't. I, I, I know. <laughs> but you're telling me there's audiobooks for it. The entire series. Yeah, guess what? Everything. My job is so boring and I can plop <laughs> headphones into my ears. Ah, oh, damn it. I never thought about, I never thought like, oh yeah, light yeah, novels no, the being enti- read to me. Is the yeah. entire series from the beginning to end. You can find it on YouTube. He has, he listens to it before the episode comes out just to <laughs> remind, to remind himself of what happens. Cause he likes to see what they change and what they exclude, what they include and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You know, the journey that they did in the fucking desert, mm-hmm. <laughs> they cut a lot of shit out of that from the light novel. Wow. There was a lot, but they essentially turned it into a montage to kind of skip time because nothing really that major happened to the point where it needed an episode dedicated to it. Gotcha. But there was a lot of cut content, apparently. Mm-hmm. A lot of conversation that is cut. A lot of um, interactions between, like, characters like Roxy and Sylphie. Things that they say to each other that gets cut. And he tells me. That's why I like watching it with him because he, like, gives me context of, like, okay, like, what did you get from that? 
okay, cool. Well, you should also know like this. Oh my God, there was something really, really important that they cut that really, no, I need to call him actually for this. I'm sorry. Call, yeah, go right ahead. I need to know because there was something super specific that they said that they cut. And I was like, why would they cut that? That's so important. Just make sure you put them on speaker. Yeah, I will. Oh my God. And don't give me the, <laughs> this is funny. I love this. <laughs> FaceTime him. Make it aggressive. Make it aggressive. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> I, he should answer. I don't think he's doing anything important. We can, we can also kind of trim this this part out a little bit. Come on, Sam. Sam, don't do Love this me. to me. I'll call you again. I don't give a fuck. Bitch, I know you're just playing Destiny, Sam. I know what you're doing. And I, guess what? Now I'm leaving all this in the podcast. You know what, you. Sam? Sam? I hope that they nerf Sunbracers. <laughs> it's a Destiny thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> God, you fuck made, you, bro. Just answer the phone. You made that fucking personal. Anyways. We went off the rail like a motherfucker yeah i know it was fun i'm kind of glad we did we're gonna come back to it because i know he's gonna call me back at some point um moving forward though okay so because um i'm sorry i'm gonna have to out you you know that right go ahead martin hasn't been watching anime Ooh. and he's kind of been like out of touch with the anime industry Ooh. sue me he's he has an anime podcast no big deal <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we wanted to catch you up on a couple of the um, hot topics in the anime community. Mm -hmm. um, they're mostly, you know, a lot of toxic shit, but it's funny. Okay, go for it. Uh, the first one uh, being, there has been some real, uh, like, I don't know how to put this. Um, it's very divided on how the Boruto community is responding to them really starting to lean into a uh boruto and sarada relationship okay so there's like toxicity with like whether people want it or don't want it yeah bunny lord you <laughs> have more don't give me that shit you're the one that is more into that community than i am and pays more attention to that shit no don't don't act like you don't keep up with the board to industry you're a fucking content creator okay fair fine enough. yeah so don't act like you don't peek once in a while behind the curtain because you're like ooh, what's behind I here just, i don't get what ooh, like a new boruto chapter oh. uh, like i hear about it and immediately my opinion is just like cool finally we get like the naruto like we get the uzumaki and the fucking uchiha bloodline combined we can get yeah, a fucking like sarada and orto are definitely like they're they're trying to like tease that that's gonna happen but then other people are of course saying like no they're just like loyalty and friendship and blah 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 but come on borto and sarada together like that, that that's just almost like sasuke and sakura together like everyone like wanted that yeah, but then there's the people that wanted Sasuke and Naruto, and I'm guessing the those are the people that this are like... kind of satisfies both. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, think about it. It's literally having Naruto and Sasuke and Naruto and Sakura, because Sakura and Sasuke, you know what I mean? Like, So, like, why aren't... Two birds, one stone. Why are people upset about it? They're yeah. upset because it's kind of like, it's an obvious trope, and it, people were hoping Borto would go in a different direction, you know, of, you know... And what, fucking Mary Kawaki? We finally get the, like. They're the, mad that Boruto and Kawaki don't have the same like hey boner for each other. That yes, do. yes, I think that's what it is. Like they don't have that true like. Yeah. Ha okay, so it's I because they saw... were like essentially siblings, <laughs> right? Stepbrother. The Uzumaki and the Uchiha's basically had a brother thing going on too because they had a sibling thing because Indra and Ashura were oh, yeah. brothers. Yeah, but yeah. that was generations ago. Naruto and Sasuke did not fuck with each other like that. But okay, recently I saw a <laughs> meme of, and this is real, it happened in the anime. Naruto saw a shooting star, clutched his heart, and thought of Sasuke. <laughs> that is the most romantic shit ever. That's why. I mean, you don't hear him doing that shit for Hinata. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so stupid, bro. I, I gotta find that. This clip. I'm this going to put show us about TikTok. ninjas. What happened? I like. <laughs> I know, right? It's it's so like, it has all this extra bullshit, and it's like. If I wanted that shit. I'd go watch a fucking dude. Have you anime. seen um when Himawari was doing her ninja exams, the, uh, the other uh, the other students were like, "Why are you here? Like you're in Uzumaki and stuff, and like blah blah blah, like." But she's also like the daughter of the Hokage, so mm -hmm. she didn't have to be a shinobi if she don't want to. And she's like, "Oh, I thought it'd be fun to be a ninja, maybe." 
What the fuck? That was the most disgraceful thing I've ever heard in my life. Cause I think it'd be what? fun to be a ninja. Motherfucker, also, your father saved the, the world. All the people that died. Doesn't she have Karama now? Yes. Yeah, I saw that. What yeah. The fuck. Yeah, I saw that picture of like her and like her hair. Yeah, like, like she was in a Karama like cloak and everything. Well, what the hell? I thought like Karama sacrificed himself. It was Remember, like a whole he's emotional so moment. He can split off his soul and entity and all that Why stuff. Why does she have it? Because is that I how? Don't know. Okay, is that how they? Is that how they brought it back to her? Is that like he was able to reincarnate inside of her? Yeah, because Naruto is sealed away in another dimension. Still? Yeah, still. Dang, he still on sealed vacation, away. bro. He so is Sasuke. Out of PTO. Sasuke's also sealed away. Okay. He doesn't get PTO. I'm sorry. That just makes the sacrifice of Baryon mode shit. Yeah. Like what was That's what I'm saying. It waters down the entire moment. Like, bro, sacrifices need to be permanent. This is another issue that I have sometimes with fucking One Piece. Like mm. when like mm, I will I will die on this hill. I think that a lot of the Akazaya samurai should have died. Yeah. I think um what's his face? Uh Kinemon. Kinemon should have died. Kinemon should have died, bro. Died. He should have had that ending. It would have been like Glorious. perfect for his character arc, dude. Like it just doesn't make sense. And then they killed off Izo and Ashra Doji mm -hmm. off screen. Mm -hmm. That's that's not cool, yeah. bro. Like they were the latest Akazaya Samurai mm -hmm. introduced. I think Kinemon should have died and probably maybe Denjiro. Mm. No, he, he, was, guy. Mm -hmm. he was supposed to protect Kiori. Yeah. That's why I'm like slightly okay with it. But Kinemon, like, bro, the, after what he went through, he got stabbed. How many times? Did you see what Kaido did to him, bro? He thunderbogged on his fucking head. Thunderbogged with him and then quite literally stabbed him through the chest, mm, right? Mm -hmm. He was bleeding out. Uh, like that's that's one thing that like, One Piece just like, Oda doesn't like killing off characters and great, that's fine. But like sometimes so you need to. would you say you're, that you're the good. whole... Rob Lucci, Luffy, Kaku, and Zoro team up was bad writing. I uh, no, you. I wouldn't say it's bad writing. Okay. I, but yeah, people are also talking about that situation and like, was that kind of like another trope that was just like friends and enemies working together? Like that was kind of meh. Or I think people are upset because they think that Luffy needed Lucci and Kaku to defeat the Seraphims, and I don't believe that in the slightest. No. L Luffy does I not I think they were just them. dead weight, and they were like, okay, uncuff them. They're yeah, and like, time. I don't think he would want them to die, because like, realistically, he could have just left them for dead, mm -hmm. but that's not who Luffy is. Zoro probably would have. Yeah, Zoro 100% would have. Zoro's just following orders. If Luffy says, let him go, he's like, all right, I guess. All right, fine. Not that he wants I'm to. I'm not but responsible gonna... for him, but like, I'll let you know. The moment they they try to do some fishy shit, I'm mm -hmm. cutting their heads off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. They, they, he follows orders. That's what Zoro's good for. <laughs> A good uh, attack dog. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, but like, wrong with that? No, it's the, I see that as like the enemy of my enemy is my friend type mm -hmm. of thing. Like, you know, it's going to be more efficient having four people fight two seraphims than two people fighting two seraphims and protecting two people that are chained up. Like that's, yeah, like it's I efficiency. Mean, it, it, like, it's not that hard. Like they're not so cold to just be like, well, you know, you're sea prism cuffed, so you can't do shit. You have no power. You're weak. Like they're just not those people to be like, yeah. Yeah. So at least kid, they, kid probably would have left them for dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know? help law probably would have too. Well, at least I don't in this case, they were just like, like I'll let you fight for your own life. Yeah, it's like, not like they were protecting. I don't, them. I don't got your back. And because they know that, like, even if they decided to turn on them as soon as they were free to be like, "Ha, huh, you fell for it," they could put them down just as easily. Yeah, they're not a threat to them at even, all. Even in this fight, Luffy and Zoro are not taking it seriously. Mm -mm. Luffy's in gear four, four, right? and Zoro's not in like King of Hell mode. Mm -hmm. Has he even used three swords, or is it just two? No, yeah, he... He's used three? Oh. Against, like, the Mihawk one, probably, right? Um, so, funny enough, because mm -hmm. he was... I noticed this, because, you know, big fan. Um, when he was fighting Mihawk, and, you know, he's sitting there using the crazy blades and shit, you know what move Zoro busted out? Mm -hmm. She, she, son, son. Oh, the same, same one that he, one used. he used. Yeah. Good shit. Mm -hmm. I gotta watch that fight, I've heard. It's so fucking good. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> Isn't it crazy how he has like the, the Mr. One's like slice or dice I dice fruit? I thought that was fucking crazy. Perfect though. Like it yeah. makes perfect sense for someone like that. Like mm -hmm. a Mihawk clone. Well, I'll take it. And it's crazy that the Kuma clone also has um the bubble, the paw paw. I mean, that makes sense. Like, yeah, and it makes sense. It's just like there's two beings on this planet now that can do that. To an extent, I'm sure. You think to an extent? Yeah. You don't think you could do the massive Ursa bomb thing the way? You should really be? catch up. Okay. He totally did. As big as like Marine Ford? Uh, not as big as Marine Ford, but, but like similar that enough? whole room that they were in, like there was a solid second where it was just like, oh, fuck. Mm, okay. Um, 
Who else? Oh, dude, like something I think that's just absolutely fucking broken. Giving a fish man seraphim the swim, the swim, swim fruit. Swim, like that's every, genius. Everywhere he goes, like essentially, it's just like liquid. Yeah, that was a perfect match, and I'm glad that they didn't have to kill off Senior Pink for it. Mm-hmm. That would have sucked. Yeah, I would. I think a lot right? of us would have been upset. Like that's no like way. If, like randomly, we just saw somebody like. Like a seraphim, they're like, "Oh, here's a mingo seraphim, but he's got the, uh, he's got the, you know, the chain change fruit." Like, wait, what happened to Bonclay? Yeah, no, no, we do not touch Bonclay. You leave that man alone. Mm-hmm. Um, I liked the, I don't know if this was in the manga, but Jimbei seraphim just punching Sanji in the face, and he. Eight. Eight. Oh yeah, no, that was Shit. panel for panel. Oh, for real? Yes. I'm oh, not so gonna cool. lie. Fucking cold. Those are like one of like I'm saying this arc actually has a pretty healthy amount of like Sanji moments. It's not like he's continually like being the MVP, but I personally think from a manga perspective, Sanji has had better moments than Zoro this arc. Okay. They're both divine, really. But it's not about it. This is not really the arc of, like, pairing, like, fights, you know, like, Zoro versus this one and Sanji versus him and, you know, Frankie versus... No, it's not like Wano where everyone kind of had a matchup. This is a very different type of um, dynamic, I guess. It's, they do have to fight people, obviously, mm-hmm. but it's not like a 1v1 and one of us comes out it's of it. It's a death match. It's not... Yeah, these, these are not death matches. This is more... Oh, fuck. Uh, Adam, actually, I don't want to even want to say it because it's gonna spoil it. Oh, okay. yeah, it's just um. So yeah, no. Okay, I, I, so I, I could say anything without. Spoiling. So you bring it up, Sanji, which is funny because, like, I guess from the manga's perspective, they're doing him, <clears throat> they do him well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know if you know this, but Toei. Oh, is, the dog thingy. Oh, that's not all of it. There's more. Um. <laughs> okay, so there's the Toei thing. Yeah. And then, do you know that the? Okay, so yeah, um, Toei apparently added like. I don't know, five extra seconds to Sanji's fucking wolf, wolf, fucking dog thing. I get it. You guys don't like it, Mm -hmm. but I think you guys need to also remember that is one of the most consistently written things of Sanji's personality that hasn't changed. Do you guys want cold machine fucking dickhead Sanji? That what you guys want? Like, I get it. It's annoying. Yeah. It's not my favorite characteristic of his, but it's not his only characteristic. Yeah. And like, um, it's, uh, kind of fucking crazy though. With that being said, you know that the voice actor has no, he doesn't find any redeeming quality or like resonation with Sanji. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. It was like an interview that he had. Which is really unfortunate because Sanji has really good qualities mm-hmm. like deep down. Like I know that we shit on him for all jokes and stuff, but he's a good character and he's oh, yeah. easily one of the most loyal characters outside of like, you know, Zoro. Zoro being the most loyal for sure. What happened? Um, no, we're about to get the heat, I think. Sanji's also super chivalrous. He's super chivalrous. Yeah, like he, like, he actually he's the is. most caring. Yeah, like that, but it's also from, like, a female's perspective, like, he genuinely will, like, have that chivalry, and quote-unquote, chivalry's dead, whatever, but Sanji actually is one of those people that would care about a woman and, like, her feelings and, like, actually be there for her. Yeah, no, and I agree. Yeah. The only time they fucked up with that, though, where he was not chivalrous was Thriller Bark. They dropped the ball on him when they gave, no, not even Thriller Bark, um... When he got the invisibility powers from the suit, I guess. Oh, Bono, yeah. That was very that, not that on was brand. That was pretty crazy. Like, they, they sh- I don't think Oda should have gone that far. It's a gag. I get it. It's, it's very common, it, I guess, in anime. But if you're going to write a character to be chivalrous and respect women th- like that way, then don't put him in that situation. Like, that's kind of dumb. I mean, they, same thing in Thriller. But he did write him up for it. What do you mean? Like, Sanji referenced that, like, he wanted the clear, clear fruit. Yeah, well, and again, a- that, that ties into, like, that is, I guess, what I was referencing in Thriller Bark. Like, he mm-hmm. wanted that so he could do that. And I'm like, yeah. no, dude, like, come on. What are the chances that, like, his family created tech just to make him invisible? Yeah, I'm saying. Like, those are the only two moments where I can really think of him really not 
being on brand not being on brand for sanji like that's and that's yeah but i don't think that's a reason for the voice actor uh, the japanese voice actor to be like i hate him like basically like i don't doesn't hate him well he doesn't like resonate with that character then fucking stop getting a paycheck from him and then go voice someone you actually care about that stuff pisses me off i'm sorry but if you choose to like i know it's a job out of time but for something that's so like love like one piece and beloved i'm sorry but i would hope that all the people that work for it and like voice act or whatever you actually appreciate it and like are I proud of say it that they and, like don't appreciate it and they don't like because then like but um, then like well look at the relationship between the japanese voice actor between sanji and zoro like they don't have to have that like rivalry. fun rivalry no, relationship i'm talking about the character yourself like you personally i don't think every voice actor out there is voicing a character that they 100 percent resonate with if that were the case, but I was also we, saying about something like, like as big as One Piece. Think about it. Like, how many people would kill to play Sanji? That's that's different though. Think like, you it. have to separate talent and like he he understands the character enough to be able to play Sanji as well as as he has for twenty five years. That doesn't necessarily mean he relates to him on a personal level. Where like, yeah, I, I want to be like Sanji. Like, no, no, He's, the character but, is written. Do you think the voice actor for Doflamingo resonates with him? <laughs> no, but I'm saying like more proud of it and stuff, you know. I think like... he's still proud of I'm sure he's still proud of it because think about it. He got into this role in the late nineties, early two thousands, not knowing like where like it he was just, gonna go. Where it was gonna go and where this character was gonna go. Yeah, there's there. no way he you know do that. and what is he gonna do? Quit halfway because he doesn't like the way the character is being written? Mm. Like again, Sanji is not a poorly written character in my opinion he's a good like caring member of the straw hats he's chivalrous he's strong he's loyal like he has a lot of redeeming qualities mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that the voice actor hates him for not resonating with that character it just means that like i don't vibe with him like i don't want to be like sanji because Sanji's not necessarily always all good like you just you may not connect with him that doesn't mean he hates him that doesn't mean that he's not appreciative of it like i think that he definitely appreciates it if not he would have left a long time ago or he would have been like asking for more money or, or whatever the case like he he just doesn't resonate with certain characteristics of the character i, th I think that's that's it personally uh, i it you know i still think he can just up appreciate what that role's really done for his life you know when you're doing it for you know two fucking decades the last thing you want to do is step down and let somebody else you know fuck up the work you just spent you know building up and plus you know sanji's got some of the greatest fucking one-liners out there too thanks i need a light yeah that fucking cold greatest one-liners coldest entrances like he mm -hmm. he's a very important character and just like luffy said he cannot be the pirate king without sanji facts said it himself you're gonna argue with the future pirate king nope exactly um since um we outed you and i'm sorry we got that, that again uh i think this is a beautiful opportunity for the listeners at home if you have any animes coming out right now that you want to try and maybe get martine to watch let us know in the comments if you recommend it maybe you know, i mean you got a stronger opportunity me and gary watching it i'm not gonna lie the new season shit there's some really good like subtle bangers out there mm -hmm. like like just different concepts oh okay like there was one that we found it's um raising or it's um adventuring in another world while raising kids like he was like he got isekai he found two kids mm -hmm. and he just took up the responsibility of taking care of them He's the he's but not like, the stepfather. He's, he's the father that stepped up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like he's, he's Piccolo. Um, there we go. And like you know, he's kind of OP because he got East Kai and everything. But like the kids themselves are got kind of like powerful themselves too. Oh, okay. It's it, yeah, it's, a, it, it's a good one. Um, East guys have just so many avenues to be like so broad, and quirky, so, and just like what if we made him a single dad? Fuck it. Why not? So, so, okay, this next one is called um, Quality Assurance in Another World. My dad works for Quality Insurance. Assurance, not insurance. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, that's just yeah. the name of the fucking job. Gotcha. No, it's Quality Assurance uh -huh. in Another World, okay? And it's like, like, first, like, it starts off and you're just like, oh, okay, like, it's a fantasy world. 
and like you know there's this village and like you know there's this world and there's monsters but by the end of the first episode you realize oh this is all a video game they're all npcs that's the only real guy here and he's a beta tester just here to like report bugs no oh, way really yeah but he got trapped in the game oh like like they came in dope. like they hired a bunch of people to come beta test and report on bugs on the game and he got stuck and they got stuck the vr world type of thing yep so, and like sword art <laughs> yeah and like while he's like interacting with this certain um game or like um like story mode he like he knows exactly how it ends whether like they beat this monster or not the village is destroyed mm. like the game like the game will just set the fucking village on fire okay but for whatever reason this one little npc they didn't fucking die mm. and she's kind of like gone like as a like a rogue kind of npc ai and like she's like i want to do like what you do mm. but she's an npc yeah, it's, that sounds like westworld yeah kind of yeah, have you ever watched westworld yeah yeah yeah, yeah. You might like this. I know he got canceled. Yes. This fucking sucks. That's fucking media for you, especially in the West. Let's cancel good shows, why don't we? I mean, that's why we didn't get a season three of fucking Moggy. Listen, oh, if they're... Go watch Moggy. Hear me out. If they can bring back Fairy Tale for the 100-year quest... I'm saying, dude. Okay, listen. You heard it here. You've been hearing it here for 140 episodes. Get the ball rolling. Tell your friends Go watch Magi. If you never watched it, go watch it. You're going to love it. Pick up the manga. Buy them. Buy them. Tell your friends. Tell them to buy it. Get the word out. Make TikToks. Make content about it. We get the ball rolling. We might get a season three. If they see that there's momentum, it could happen. I'm still fully convinced that we had a very, very, very small fraction of like a part to play in why Soul Level got an anime. Okay. That, that's I my head that. I also I also believe we had a small part to play in um Blue Exorcist getting a season three. Oh, that's also getting another season. Did you see that? They mm -hmm. announced it. Also, do you know that Fire Force is getting a season three? Fire Force why haven't we talked about that? Fire Force is getting a season three. Well, like finally. I, I was under the impression you were out of the anime community. No, buddy. I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't watched anything, but I've heard about the announcements. Like I still get updates and shit. Mm -hmm. I just haven't been watching any shows. But like, dude, we finally have a fucking date for season three. It's mm -hmm. been years. I watched season two at y'all's old ass apartment. Yeah, that was four years ago. Yeah. Oh my God. It's been a minute. Mm -hmm. I'm so fucking excited. I really want to see what happens because I. Fire Force, but you prefer to watch Soul Eater? You Soul Eater? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I watched it. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm I wa not saying anything. I watched it. It's I'm going to tell you right now the shit that happens in season three. Buckle the fuck up. You read the manga for it? I, bro, that shit was spoiled all over the internet, I bro. just know how it ends. I know what he becomes or whatever. I don't know anything from there to, like, where we left off. Gotcha. So, and I actually want to watch, like, a recap of seasons one and two because I don't remember a lot of what happened story-wise. I, I am going to guarantee you this. What? If it happens in season three. They said this is the final season. Oh, you're going to cry. Ooh. Really? People die. People we like die. God damn it. Oh, yep. Damn it. They better not. Who do you think? They better not touch Maki. I think you're good there. All right. That's all I care about, really. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, you better not, like, <sighs> Benny Maru. You're good there. I'm good. I don't give a fuck. Really? Uh, who, uh, who else? Arthur, uh, whatever. Our captain. That's going to hurt. Yeah, bro. But he's set up to die. Like, he is yeah. the fucking father figure, basically. Yeah. That's fine. The only characters I really, really like in this show are Maki and Benimaru. Facts. Same. I'm going to be and, honest. Honestly, everyone else, I enjoy them enough. Like, but like Shima. What about Tamaki? Can she go? <laughs> she. <laughs> like, dude, they better not keep pulling that shit. They better tone it down at the very least. I'm sick of it. It's not funny, and I don't enjoy it. The shit that they pull with her all the time, it's distracting. <laughs> it is I'm, just, I'm sorry what are you talking about martin you know what i'm talking about no i don't the lucky leprosy no. thing <laughs> not leprosy letcher lucky letcher what you know what i'm talking about 
Well, maybe the people at home don't know what you're talking about. If you've seen Fire Force, or if you have not, there's a character named Tamaki, and she has, like, cat-like fire powers or something. Mm -hmm. She gets, like, the ears and and tail or whatever, and she could be really cool because she can kind of fight sometimes, right? And she's a part of the team, and she's really cool. But for some reason, the author decided to just make her a uh, walking sex appeal trope, and every time she's walking, she trips, and her clothes fall off all the fucking time. And I'm just like, what? And it's distracting. It'll happen at the worst moments. We could have a really, like, good, serious moment where, like, there's action. And then, boom, she shows up and then she's naked. And I'm just like, I don't need this. I don't care for this. And it's annoying to me. And I don't like it. And I rest my case. If you guys agree with Martine, let us know in the comments. That's just what I'm saying, bro. If you guys think he's overreacting, let us know in the comments. Maybe I am, but that's my opinion to have. Fan service, Martine. Fan service. There was something else that was getting another season. And I don't remember what it was. Norigami is getting another season? I gotta retry that one. I feel like I'll probably Tower like God, it. God, season I... two came out. I heard about that, yeah. Fuck me, man. I don't remember what it was. That's okay. I'll remember later. Yeah, we'll let you know, guys, later. And apparently we're dragging on. I'm so sorry. Uh-huh. La, la, la. She just wants to clock off. Yep. Mm. She just wants to play Toontown. Yeah, I know. Okay. Wait, what's this one at? Uh, one, oh, three. <laughs> what was the first part at? 20. Oh, good luck. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm making a Star Wars segment for sure. That was fun. Oh, yeah, that was fun. Yeah. If you guys want to hear us talk about more non-related anime things, let us know. I want to talk about the boys, and I want to talk about House of the Dragon at some point. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the boys might just have to be a us thing. Gary doesn't watch it? He's not caught up, mm. like at all. That's fine. Um, I want to talk about that. If anything, we'll get her on the episode with us. Yeah. 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 But we Man. can definitely save like all of us do with the House of the Dragons because that shit's oh, fuck. House of the crazy. Dragon has been popping off. It's so good. Is it? Do you oh, not be like quiet. it? You've been watching it. You love it. She's just saying that because she knows exactly what happens. She googled it. Of course. Oh, I read it. She googled it. You read the book? No, I read you- it. Yeah, you read what you googled. Yeah, <laughs> you fucking you googled it. <laughs> it's like Sarah, I didn't Google it. Google. I read it on Google. <laughs> okay, we're done. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys want to hear us review, you know, House of the Dragons and the Boys, let us know. We will. Yep. Let and us know what uh, you thought of this episode. If you have any more ideas, also please keep on letting us know. We're always open to more content ideas. So whatever you want to hear, we might just talk about on the podcast. So. Let us know. Also, tag your favorite creators that you'd like to see us uh, have on the podcast. Maybe we can set something up and interview them and have a nice collaboration. Uh, Appreciate everybody for listening and watching. Alchemist out. Alchemist out.